二零二三年第十五到第十七條咧，就係有關於一個酶嘅實驗嘅。咁啊 ，Amy 咧就喺百科堂就學過啦，有啲果汁咧。佢就有一啲蛋白酶，就可以攞嚟做一個醃肉劑 （meat t e n d e r i z e r 即係令到啲肉咧淋一啲嘅。咁佢而家咧就想揾一款適合嘅果汁咧，去慢煮牛扒、哦。咁喺咩叫慢煮牛扒咧？咁啊睇翻啲幅圖咧，你就知道啦。我哋就將一塊牛扒啦，就同啲果汁撈埋佢，就擺喺個密實袋嗰處，然後就擺喺個水浴入面。咁呢個水浴咧就係、是。大約五十到七十度咧，就擺一個鐘，咁慢慢浸熟嚿牛扒佢，呢、這個就叫慢煮牛扒啦。咁而家啦，阿 Amy 就想揾一個適當嘅果汁啊嘛，咁佢就梗係冇可能拎塊牛扒就去做實驗啦，係咪？所以之後啦，佢就會利用翻咧嗰個蛋白嘅立方咧嚟做個實驗嘅。咁而家啦，我哋就嚟睇下 Amy 咧點樣做個實驗咯。一開始啦，佢就提取一啲菠蘿汁先，然後啦，就喺每一支嘅試管咧都加十五 mL 嘅菠蘿汁，就有三支嘅試管。然後啦，各自咧就貼上咗個 label 啦，就係五十度、六十度同埋七十度。然後啦，就將啲試管咧擺放喺相對應嘅温度嗰處，就擺一個鐘。從而確保個菠蘿汁咧係達到咗五十度啦、六十度啦同埋七十度嘅，然後啦就拎翻三支試管出嚟咧，就喺室温嘅情況下等佢冷卻化。冷卻完啦，就加三粒嘅蛋白立方就入去每一支嘅試管入面，而每一粒嘅蛋白立方咧就係、是、一 cm 缺嘅。然後啦就緊係有個菠蘿汁去浸下個蛋白啦，咁啊浸幾耐啊？咁可能浸一個鐘啦。然後到第六步呢，就去量度下我哋嘅應變項或者因變項啦，啱唔啱？然後去到第七步呢，就重複實驗咯。然後啦，就利用木瓜汁啦、奇異果汁啦同埋檸檬汁啦，去重複頭一至六步嘅。咁而家題目呢，就問啦，基於 Amy 上面所做嘅步驟呢，咁究竟 Amy 做嘅呢個實驗總共有幾多個嘅獨立變項呢？咁呢個題目啦，唔使審啦，梗係考返我哋有關於獨立變項嘅定義啦。獨立變項呢，就係、是、由實驗者所改變嘅變項，係我哋話事嘅。咁我哋睇下頭六步，究竟 Amy 改變咗乜嘢呢？就係、是、改變咗温度啦。佢用緊菠蘿汁，就測試下佢五十度、六十度、七十度。啊，咁究竟啦，我哋陣間要量度個應變項，係咪就會有三個數據呀？咁呢個就係講緊佢改變緊個温度喇喎。呢、这個係我哋嘅第一個嘅變項啦。咁除咗呢個之外啦，去到第七步咧，佢就重複實驗啊嘛，就利用翻木瓜汁啊、奇異果汁啊同埋檸檬汁。所以啦，第二樣嘅變數佢有所改變嘅咧，就係、是、果汁嘅種類啦。咁所以喺呢個情況底下咧，我哋就會有兩個變數咯、哦。嗱，留意一下、哦。你話嚇冇理由有兩個變數㗎，咁啊唔係話喺一個公平測試底下只可以得一個變數嘅。嗱，我示範一次俾你睇。如果而家我係淨係利用個菠蘿汁，我想比較佢五十度同埋六十度，佢哋入面嘅蛋白酶啊，啊究竟有幾有效咧？咁其實啦，嗱，温度就係改變咗啦，但係菠蘿汁係不變㗎嘛。咁啊，係咪都係得一類型嘅變數啊？就係、是、改變温度啫嘛。啊，又或者啦，我想去比較下咧，菠蘿汁同埋木瓜汁，同樣地都係喺七十度嘅情況底下啊。究竟啦，邊一款嘅果汁係能夠消化到個蛋白嘅立方咧？消化得好啲喎。嗱，同樣都係用緊七十度呢個温度，不過我就改變咗個果汁嘅類型啫嘛。咁我哋係咪都係改變咗個果汁咋？咁都係得一個變數改變咗啫，咁所以啦，無論係呢一款嘅比較啦，定係呢一款嘅比較啦，都係公平嘅，咁就係兩類型嘅變數咯喎。咁呢條題目啦，做咗啲咩嘅變奏咧？放大少少俾大家睇啦。咁其實啦，今次我哋有兩個變數，而呢兩個變數咧，其實都係為咗唔同嘅目的。而去做嘅啫，咁大家咧又嚟理解一下咯。用緊唔同嘅變數，就係、是、達到唔同嘅探究目的啦。第一個變數就係利用不同類型嘅果汁，我就係想去研究一下，喂，究竟咧邊一款果汁咧作為醃肉劑咧個效率係高一啲㗎？第二
第二啦，就係、是、改變個温度咯、哦。我就想知道下啦，喂，究竟温度咧對於個煤嘅活性有啲咩嘅影響啊？又或者啦，對於啲煤嘅活性啦，喺邊一個温度底下，佢先係最適當嘅温度啊？咁所以啦，我哋咧係可以有兩類型嘅目標探究緊嘅、哦。咁而家我就想大家啦，嗱，就住。第一類型嘅探究，或者第二類型嘅探究咧，你都話俾我聽，各自咧係有啲咩嘅控制變項喺入面咧？咁喺留言區留低你嘅答案，睇下你嘅 concept 清唔清。Two two three question fifteen to seventeen refer to the investigation into M size in fruit. So Amy learned it from the biology lesson. Some fruit contain the protease, which can be used as the meat tenderizer to make the meat a bit soft. And she wants to find a suitable fruit juice for the slow cooking of steak, which is mixing the steak with the fruit juice in a seal bag, then cooking it in a water bath set at a around fifty degrees Celsius to seventy degrees Celsius for one hour. Surely now she is going to find a suitable fruit juice, and she will not use the steak for the testing, right? Therefore, she will use the egg white cube. For the investigation, so let's see the procedure of her investigation. First of all, extract the fruit juice from the pineapple, and add fifteen mL of the pineapple juice in three boiling tubes, respectively, with the labels fifty degrees Celsius, sixty degrees Celsius, and seventy degrees Celsius. Three test tubes, and then put the test tube into water bath set at a respective temperature for one hour. To make sure that the pineapple juice reach the particular temperature, fifty degrees Celsius, sixty degrees Celsius, and seventy degrees Celsius, and then take out the tube, cool down to the room temperature, and then add three egg white cube of the size one cm cube into each tube, and then how long do we wait for? For example, we wait for one hour, and then we need to measure the dependent variable. We are going to investigate to measure. And then step seven, repeat the above step with papaya, kiwi, and lemon juice. So for this question, based on the procedure given, how many independent variables is or are being studied? So we can see from the procedures, the first variable Amy change is the temperature, fifty, sixty, seventy degrees Celsius, and she is still using the same juice, pineapple juice. To get free data already, right? And for the step seven, she repeats the whole experiment by using different types of juice: papaya juice, kiwi fruit juice, and the lemon juice. Therefore, she changed the type of the fruit juice. So you can see that how many variables does she change? The first factor, temperature, and the second factor, the types of the fruit. Therefore, the answer is B. And then you may ask that, oh no no no, Mister Liu, I remember that there should be one independent variable for the fair test for the fair comparison. Yes, I agree. For example, Amy is still using the pineapple juice, and then compare fifty degrees Celsius and the sixty degrees Celsius, or for the MSI activity at which temperature the MSI can act better. The only one variables she is changing is the temperature, right? Because she is still using the pineapple juice, or what if she would like to compare pineapple juice and the papaya juice at the seventy degree Celsius? Which juice can work better as the meat tenderizer? So it's still the fair comparison because we only use the same temperature, seventy degree Celsius, although we are using different types of juice. So we just change the type of juice, but we. But we compare them at the same temperature. It's still the fair comparison. And then any possible question variation. So you can take a look here. So for the idea is that by using different independent variable, the aim of the investigation is different. When we are using different types of fruit juice, we are investigating the effectiveness of the fruit juice in tenderizing the meat. Which juice is the best meat tenderizer? And then for the second one, we do the investigation at different temperature. We are going to study the effect of the temperature on the enzyme activity, or we are going to study the optimum temperature of the enzyme in the fruit juice. 
So you can see that we are changing different types of independent variable and it serves for different purpose of the investigation. So you can leave your idea for the comment section about any control variable in each case for the investigation one and for the investigation two and let's see your concept is clear or not.